that comet, that's that that that's just a rock. They didn't bother to put no texture. They probably put they didn't bother to put no lighting on that. And there's no dimension to it. It's it no. looks flat like a chip. Yeah. It's people, it's a rock. It's one of the simplest things that you can do mm-hmm. in CG. It's a rock. Hey everyone, support our Patreon, which helps us to continue bringing you our live streams, videos, and podcasts while bringing you new content such as exclusive live streams and animated shorts. Uh, We got this movie here where the premise is every six years, I believe it is, and an alien comes through a portal and just decides to start shit with one person. That's a long way to go just to get off a spaceship yes, and be like, hey, is. bitch, come here. <laughs> yeah. For six years, I've hated you. And we're going to settle this shit right now. Yeah. If you, these are some intergalactic ass bullies, man. I mean, if you got the technology to travel ac- across the galaxy, ain't you got something better to do than just get off a ship and be like, hey, mother, come here. Let me talk to you. Just pick a fight with one person. Because that's easy. That's what that's yeah, easy. That's, yeah, that's right. <laughs> Low stakes. Yeah. Like, yeah. <laughs> They're picking on soldiers who are hanging out in the Asian jungle. Why? I don't know. In Burma. In oh, Burma, oh, yeah. Oh, so Myanmar. This must be in the 80s that this is set. Uh, but some people looking at this trailer and they're like, oh, shit. You know, alien that got off the ship with the wrong person. Nicholas Cage, boy. <laughs> But Nicolas Cage, they, 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 it's, it's a selling point for the movie. They're like, yo, you, you like crazy Nicolas Cage? Oh, you got him. He's crazy. Like me. <laughs> oh, and that, 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 man, that, that vintage crazy. Yeah, man, that face off. That face, yeah, that, that, <laughs> I want his face off. Yeah. I'd like to take his, his face off. <laughs> oh my god <laughs> <laughs> and all the other actors are like what's he doing <laughs> that was not in the script <laughs> Shh, go, 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 it's great it's great just keep it going I did, I, hey man I, crazy Nicolas Cage fighting aliens shit I'm in man you know what it, it, here's my money right here take it. Nick Nick where you at Nick Nick, oh, hey, uh, Nick. get him down. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> For real, wait, Nick. Nick! Nick, hey, sir, settle down. Nick, settle down, man. Hey, look, we, you know what? Oh, yes, we forgot to tell you. While I was taking your money, it slipped my mind. Oh, how could I forget such a detail? He's only in the movie for 10 minutes. We had him for one day because we're broke as shit. And he's only in the movie for a tad 10 minutes. Maybe 15, but wouldn't put, uh, wouldn't put my bets on that. You know, what about the movie itself? The movie should be able to speak for itself. Can we convince you that just 10 minutes of Nick Cage is just fine? Or maybe you're getting 110 minutes of bullshit. Which is, or is it somewhere in between? Let's go ahead and take a look at this trailer for Jiu-Jitsu. Oh yeah, he's also in the movie about five minutes. Ooh, <laughs> so Tony, Tony John. John. Yeah. 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 <laughs> so everything you came in here looking for, you ready to order them flavors, boy. Give me a scoop of Nick Cage and some Tony John over there. We out. <laughs> <laughs> There's no honor in killing crazy. Yeah, there's so many scenes in here where Nicolas Cage is swinging that sword just slow. And then they're going to cut to a man doing this from in shadows. So many wide shots yeah. of Nicolas Cage just happened to be covered by a bush. Yeah. <laughs> as he's fighting. Yeah, a yeah. lot of fighting in silhouette. Yeah. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. <laughs> yeah, especially with Nicolas Cage. Boy, they sure tried to steal this movie on Nicolas Cage and Crazy. How many times do you say I'm crazy in this? And like I said, people, you know, there ain't that much Nicolas Cage. And honestly, there ain't that much Nicolas Cage being crazy. The movie might be a little crazy. And maybe you can settle on that. I don't know. I tell you what, this is another case where, now this is what people used to say back in my day, some friends used to hang out with. It's a little different today, but I don't know if y'all ever had friends you hung out with, and I believe this director might be one of them, uh, where you 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 know, you, just, you got somebody you're watching a movie with, and when it's done, they look at it like, man, you know, I was cool, but needed more karate. <laughs> yeah, man. And this is another situation where the direct now in this case is jujitsu, but that's what the director did. The, the director got through watching Predator and said, "You know what? That was cool, man, but needed needed need more martial arts, needed more people kicking the shit out of each other." 
Also, let's throw in some Mortal Kombat. Yes. <laughs> throw in, <laughs> Very let, much let's throw so. a dash of Star Wars in there <laughs> in the dumbest way. Let's throw in some superhero stuff. And just to make sure that we're respecting cinema, let's put in just a pinch of Apocalypse Now. Mm. It's all in there, people. Now, whether it, it makes sense or not, it's good. Well, you know, that depends on you. Uh, it's as crazy as it sounds, but I don't know if it's actually good. Uh, you know, there's so many things to question here that they don't really seem to give a shit about. I don't make sense. I, I feel like we can take good <clears throat> off the table. Yeah, that, that's gone. Yeah, but, yeah. but the, what it comes down to then is, is it understandable and is it entertaining? Those are things we got to focus on here. Well, entertaining, that can be debatable because, you know, that is always subjective. You know, that's a matter of opinion. Uh, whether it makes sense for no, it doesn't make no sense. No, <laughs> yeah. no. It's Nicholas Cage. I was trying what? to hold some suspense, but yeah, yeah <laughs> we can remove that one also. Yeah, it don't make no goddamn <laughs> sense. This uh, this. movie's in a <laughs> loony bin, man. <laughs> It doesn't mean, it doesn't mean. I mean, I made more fun of Mortal Kombat because they were like, the fate of the world will be decided by a, a karate tournament. <laughs> <laughs> and this movie said, like, you ain't seen nothing. No, yet. you ain't seen nothing. <laughs> hold my beer. No, this don't make no sense at all. An alien that comes back here every six years to just pick a fight with one dude hanging out in the jungle of Asia. But oh, you, it, it, don't, it don't even stop there, you know. You gotta have six fighters. Yeah, it's so. But, but if you don't fight him, he kills everyone he in kills, the village. Yeah, it just don't make the any rules, sense. They, they add more rules as it goes along, and they have Nick Cage to do the, all, all the exposition. I'm like, wait, why didn't you mention this before? This doesn't make any goddamn sense. Yes. Well, the yeah. story that you have here, it don't make any sense because this alien comes down to pick on these this this base in Burma. So this must be in the 80s, but that don't make any sense. I mean. I, you know, they never explain what is so special about this these uh these soldiers. You got six years to prepare to beat this mother man. You don't have a bomb waiting at the portal when he comes out. Right. You don't you don't have a wily e. coyote cannon pointed at the, at the portal when he comes a bear trap, something, something, man, anything. I mean, these dudes just sitting on their, on their asses just waiting, like, oh shit, here he come again. I hope I hope it ain't me he picked. <laughs> It don't make it don't make any sense. And then out there, and they don't explain this at all, out there in the middle of the jungle. These soldiers don't even know about these monks, uh, these, these this this tribe of of of, of martial art experts, jujitsu experts, who it's their job to protect Earth from alien attacks, which they're doing a pretty shitty job at it because every time, <laughs> let on they, and they're led by led by Frank Grillo, who. I don't know if he knows martial arts or not, but he tries and get his ass promptly whooped. Yeah. Oh yeah, he, 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 he talks a big game. Yeah, but yeah, yeah, yeah. He, yeah he, he, quick. he throws knives, which get intercepted and used on his team. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Or do they ever? Like multiple times. And he's just sitting there like, ah, oh, dang, I shouldn't have done that. <laughs> it don't make any sense, you know. And I don't understand because every time uh, the the alien fights these uh, these these monks are. These these this tribe or whatever they're here to protect the earth from the this this to, for, to protect earth from aliens aliens alien attacks mm -hmm. they can't even stop one every time this dude comes down he wipes them out all of them all every single one of them I'm like well y'all are doing a pretty shitty job at protecting the earth and why y'all don't get together with the army and y'all work together to defeat this this was a big thing for me because one this alien seems to want has some kind of honor code and wants to have a fair fight. Yeah. Yet, he has all kinds of crazy superpowers, being able to turn invisible, <laughs> teleport, shooting ninja stars. D despite his skill, he's got super strength. And so, the, the idea is like, okay, well you have these, these six fighters, why don't they just team up and all fight him at the same time? Why don't they? But, why then, they? but then at one point it's like, oh, he has to fight you individually. But then it, sometimes they do team up. So it's like, I, I don't get that. And it's like, so what if you have to fight him individually? Yes. <laughs> we didn't. We didn't want this game. Right, he came right. out here starting this. We yeah. don't have to play by his rules. Exactly. Brax the alien. <laughs> I'm gonna talk about Brax's stupid ass in a little bit. As we were talking about with Mortal Kombat and other things, look, we've seen movies where they like, we don't care, man. You know what? We, we know what we're doing. It's it's a it's a thin premise to get fighting going. Yeah, exactly. We just want to do some special effects and fighting, and we we don't care. You know, we know what y'all are saying. We just putting this stuff together just for cool images and and whatever, and fights and whatever else we got in there. Uh, so this could all possibly be cool. I ain't nitpicking, but it, it ain't got the budget for it. No. That's the thing, yeah, you know. That, and, and, that's true. And they are, and they are happy to let you know that they, they are they, broke as f 
like way in over their heads. <laughs> right in with the their opening ambition. too. <laughs> yeah, Boy, yeah. the movie opens up and people, I gotta, sh- I gotta show y'all this. And I'm not trying. Believe me, because I, I said this, and I'm trying not to be mean about things. But I don't know if this was done on purpose, so y'all would know. Just this is a sign of don't expect us to have no money here. <laughs> right. <laughs> You know, I don't know what the purpose of, of, of your first shot looking like shit is, but they, the movie opens up with a shot of Earth. Earth looks like some shit that is copy and pasted into a 14 year old's school presentation, mm-hmm. video presentation. That there's this shit that you can get on YouTube where you can it's already green screened for you and everything. Sure. Yeah. Cause that shit looks like something out of a nineties TV show. Oh, that's funny, because I was thinking more like the eighties Buck Rogers. Is that yeah. what it looks like? <laughs> No, it's. I mean, that was a that, today. That's a screensaver on your phone, <laughs> at best. But I'm not concerned about the Earth when the Earth got upstaged by a f- rock. There's a comet coming down with farting particle particle effects. People, that comet. That's that that that's just a rock. They didn't bother to put no texture. They probably put. They didn't bother to put no lighting on that. And there's no dimension to it. It's it looks no. flat like a chip. Yeah. It's. People, it's a rock. It's one of the simplest things that you can do mm-hmm. in CG. It's a rock. That's all it is. I'm looking at this. And I'm like a a child could have made could have made this for you for free at home. It's a rock. Ain't got no lighting or dimension on it at all. Other times they try to. Uh, I give it to them. They know they don't have a budget. They try to get past things stylistically. You know, I don't have any clips for you, but they they do the thing like with Creep Show or something where th- th- or this Angley's is, Hulk. <laughs> or Angley's yeah. Hulk. Yeah, this is uh, this is based on a comic book. So for this, what do they do? They say, you know what? Uh, for things like showing the ship landing and coming down to the jungle and all that kind of business, you know, things that would usually cost thousands upon thousands of dollars on a big budget production I'm like yeah we ain't got that kind of money we better draw that shit and so they don't even draw it they actually put like a comic book filter over certain things mm-hmm. and they cover up they cover up some for some of the big sequences like that uh, and, and at least they're aware I was yeah I was of mixed feelings on that because well, part of me was like alright now y'all throwing comic books in there so where it doesn't really fit but it is a way to cover up the lack of budget yeah so stylistically all right, I guess I can allow it. They actually put comic book panels in, yeah. Uh, mm-hmm. Like, like right there, you you see, like you know, the rescue with the comic book filter on it. So that's as creative as they get. Stuff like that. That yeah, that is that is that is you know because a lot of times they couldn't even afford an artist to come in and draw this. Mm. So when you, like we say when they do is like you know I bet they even looking at it like this don't look nothing like what well, you know just put a filter on this <laughs> yeah you know, it'd be easier. <laughs> uh. But the biggest don't give a shit in this, and we you know we already put this out here. The biggest don't give a shit in this is Brax the alien when he comes in, uh, because his intro in here, man, and we've already established this. His intro in the movie is a like this is him. This is this is his first shot. I was like, damn boy, just come in and do do one thing original. <laughs> Just do, do, come in doing your thing, and we can get into ripping off the Predator because we had, we know this this what this is. He's like, nah, nah, man, I'm on, nah, I'm coming in Predator pure, 100 percent Predator fashion, man. You, and you shit, you know, you know he doing like y'all gonna think it's the Predator when we get in here. Oh shit, is him? Oh, exactly, exactly. <laughs> Look at that shit. He's like jump. I like the way man is like, damn, he wasn't even trying. <laughs> like Brack should have came in wearing the shirt and said, I don't give a. F- <laughs> about your predator I'm, the pre- I'm your predator now <laughs> yeah man he came in and they even do things like he's got he's got predator vision oh yeah comes, yeah people yeah predator's like god damn you want my dreadlocks too <laughs> shit I'm glad that you, you, you focused on that shot right there because that is a shot for shot from the original predator is it when the, the, the Billy character's looking up and he says what the hell is that? It's it's the same thing. <laughs> People go go up to him and they're asking him like, "What do you see?" It's just like I don't know. <laughs> mm. God, I mean, just just they, they they just did not care. No, no, they didn't. And I got and I gotta I gotta mess with him on this because I'm I'm looking at this. And I'm like, all right, you gonna you gonna rip off the predator, and I'm, we're we're all aware that that is what you're doing, as yeah. you are. You know, you know that you're ripping off the predator. You don't expect anybody to think anything different. But how the hell you gonna rip off the predator? 
and have your alien looking like a Power Rangers villain. He looks like a putty. He, yeah. He looks like a putty. He look, yeah, he looks straight up because a dude in a rubber suit. Yeah. yeah. With, with, a, with a TV screen for a face. Yeah. By the way, that TV screen looks just like oh, Master CPU from Tron. Wow. <laughs> I'm like, damn, you were, well, I gotta wow. give it to you, Master, like rip off and combine Predator and Tron. You know, it might be cool if he was likable, but he's a bitch ass cheater, man. Yeah, yeah. yeah total yeah. cheater. Total cheater, like, mm-hmm. like I get like the alien, you know, the, the Predator, when he comes down, when the Predator gets you, the, 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 the Predator, he might, look, he'll, he'll, He'll pull some some lame shit like, you know, if I can't win, ain't nobody gonna win. I'm just gonna blow up everything. Yeah, he's a sore loser. Yeah, he's a sore loser, but at least he'll fight fair. He will. I mean, fair is he has all these special space age gadgets and you have whatever you have on hand. <laughs> but at least he'll give you a fair fight. Like, look, if you if you stab me, you bring me down uh-huh. and so be it. True. If I don't blow your ass up, then my, you know, my, my, my boy's gonna come down and give you a, 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 a sword or something. Yeah, or, uh, a spear. souvenir, a trophy. Uh, yeah, a trophy or something. You know, no, not, not Brax, man. Brax, see, here's the deal with Brax. Brax, this is why it's not fair. Like, he comes down, starts shit, and says, all right, let's fight. You know, and whoever wins, wins. You know, we'll call it a day. If you beat me, I won't come back no more. Oh yeah, but let me let, let, me, let, let, me, let me let you know something here. Anytime you cut me, I regenerate. So every time they cut him, man, what's the use? Every time they cut him, he like his 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 skin, his suit heals back up. Any kind of sickness he has, he inhales and it comes out in a powder. Yeah. Well, not even just that, because the whole thing is, you know, you have to kill him to send him back. And there's times when they actually do kill him. And then like six seconds later, he Okay. He's, That's what he's I'm saying. He can, re- like, he can regenerate. Yeah, yeah, like, from like, death. <laughs> Like people, so when is it in? If if this was a fit, this is why he regenerates. If this is a fair fight, that should be done in five minutes. Mm-hmm. Like they slice his ass up so many times, and he just heals back up. And I can understand why he kind of cheats because he sucks. Like I said, man, <laughs> I'm being nice saying five minutes. They would kill his ass in minutes if this was a fair fight. Plus. His aim ain't worth shit. Movie starts out with him throwing oh, these, know. those stars. He ain't, how many stars he throw? He, he can't hit shit. Yeah, he can't hit a guy running right with his back to him. He ain't hit a damn thing. Look at all them stars. And apparently he throws stars like it's like it's video game ammunition. Although well, you gotta say that at Alan Moosey, the way he's running right there, it's kinda like woo 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 woo. Well you should be able to hit him then. I know, but it I'm ain't saying. like he's booking. <laughs> but he he is not running like somebody running for their lives. He's just kinda like ah. And he's running such a way where he's not even dodging those things. No, no, he's not dodging. They they added all these things and not not telling the actors, okay, you're gonna mad dodge, move out of the way. They're like, no, just run straight or just mm-hmm. you know, yeah. think like they're not even there. So, yeah. yeah. Yeah, clearly they thought well we'll add these in post yeah, in, in our terrible CGI mm, yes. and, oh, rather, yeah. and then rather than adding a few to make it realistic somebody just said like more no throw in more 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 yeah Brox is the kind of character where uh, you have that you have that friend who's like we're gonna make the the, the the biggest monster the ultimate badass and like he's he's weak against nothing and he's super strong and no one can defeat him and when you do that he becomes instantly uninteresting because mm-hmm. he because he has no weaknesses yeah. he has no dimensions to him and therefore it's just like well if no one can beat him then <coughs> yeah. what's the point that is where, true yeah. why, the why are we even watching this yeah it, he just becomes the you know the doomsday mm-hmm. of mm-hmm. of you know, <laughs> rip off villains so yeah. that's why it's so boring yeah no that's that no that's true man I didn't even think of it that way yeah what's why why would you even be why would you challenge him yeah why would you even agree to this contest yeah exactly yeah, he's, yeah he's just a yeah he's just a punk he's yeah. just a bitch man mm-hmm, mm-hmm. that's why he's a, he's a bully that's why he he's a bully he knows he can beat everybody yeah you ever, you ever played against somebody in a video game where that character is so overpowered it's so overpowered it's like well how am I gonna beat you how, yeah. what am I playing that's you have, him you have no chance Nicholas Cage, yeah, I'm sure you got a lot to pay off, but I think right now Nicholas Cage is just kind of look. Look, if you just make me, you just make me crazy enough, I'll take it. Just give me, just give me crazy lines, give me crazy lines like this right here. Oh, oh. get off my piano! <laughs> get, get, get off, get off my piano! Anybody else be like, I'm not saying this shit. Mm-hmm. We in the middle of a fight. Get the hell out! Or, or if you just give him crazy stuff to do. Well, it, it does seem like they told him it was a comedy. Did, but, he plays it that way. And, and yeah, and, and, but you know, he's only there for days and hasn't really read the script to know oh, that they don't. aren't playing this for laughs. Because if you look at what's going on, you're like, yeah, this is funny. Okay, I get it. <laughs> Not only to realize, oh, they're being very serious about it. Oh yeah, this. he's the only one that they told him that, yeah, you know, this, this is a Jim Carrey movie right here. Yeah. I make hats out of newspapers. Look, look at this. 
You see the attention to detail? <laughs> <laughs> even the fighter's like, wait, what the hell just happened? He even kind of looked at the camera a little bit when he said that. <laughs> I, 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 I will say, um, I, I enjoyed him in the movie to a degree. Like, he is not as crazy as you expect yeah, he's him toned down. in Face Off or Mandy. There's no scene of him in his tidy white. He's drinking a whole bottle of vodka, screaming at the camera. Mm. There's nothing like that in this. But he did give me something. Unlike all the other actors who, to me, felt like the default video game character. You start off an RPG who has no characteristics to them and it's just boring. So at least he was giving me something to kind of grab onto oh, and enjoy. Uh, Everyone yeah. else is so boring. Oh, no, well, see, good, yeah. Chris, this is where you messed up because you said all the other actors. They are not actors. Yeah, fair enough. They're all stuntmen. <laughs> oh, yeah. yeah. No, he, <laughs> They're stuntmen who are getting to say lines. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Nicholas mm-hmm. Cage is the only one who's in here acting his ass off because he's acting yeah. crazy. And by the way, he don't. you give him crazy lines, you, you don't, he'll like, yeah, we'll talk about payment later. This is good. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, just, and I tell you what, that's not even a newspaper. That's the script he made. A, had a, <laughs> and like I said, it's funny watching his fight scenes because he ain't that a fight. There's so many scenes no. where you he got that sword. That sword looks heavy for him. He's just fighting slow. And they cut that. They cut that, uh, that. That 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 yeah. That wide shot of that that stunt man. That stunt man just flipping and jumping oh, yeah. all over the place. It's mm-hmm. like, the, come on, y'all. I'm not, y'all not even trying. It becomes apparent why they put that long crazy wig on him. Because then the stunt man can wear it. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Good point. I told you, I admire when people do things on a budget and they try to pull it off, even if they don't pull it off completely, but I can see what they're doing. If they even kind of get halfway, I'm like, all right, that's cool. Uh, they got a long tracking shot in here, one shot. Now, they, it's not like 1917 or some other movie with a budget to pull it off like they do, but. And I was surprised, oh, b- by the way, complete with fake bullet holes. I don't know if you can see them right here, but there's After, after effects, effects After Effects bullet holes in here. You know, uh, but to coordinate a fight like this with one tracking shot, it's not an easy thing to do, even for a movie with their budget. So I, I commend them for that. And, it, and, I, and I looked at it, and I was like, it was cool. Even turned uh, turned into Hardcore Harry or whatever for a little uh, while. Yeah, yeah, Hardcore Henry. Hardcore uh, Henry. Uh, yeah, using the, the GoPro. Uh, I actually, like, after we get that that cheap ass opening and some of the other stuff where I was like all right I'm not sure about any of this like you said yeah. the acting is not not so great but when we get to this scene when Tony Jaw jumps in I was like man this is kind of turned around because I'm loving all the fighting here and I was completely on board when I was like man these two guys together you know what all right this, this is gonna be dumb but I'm gonna have fun watching them throughout this not realizing that I wasn't going to get a whole lot more of that. Oh, yeah. But, yeah. But, yeah. I, but this whole setup here, I, I thought was was great. Yeah. Oh, I thought you had something to add. Uh, uh, no, no, I was just going to say, um, you know, the reason why, you know, Predator uh, works so well is that, yeah, it's a super goofy film. It's like all these, you know, uh, guys, these big sweaty guys going in the jungle and just shooting the shit out of everybody. But they all had their personalities, mm-hmm. whether they were good actors or not. I yeah. mean, Arnold Schwarzenegger, Jesse Ventura, <laughs> Carl Weathers, they all had those really big personalities. They all had those iconic lines. Sure. And that's what this movie needed. There's nothing memorable about them. Like mm-hmm. I could, maybe the exception of that one hardcore Henry uh, segment. Everything else is kind of just blends in the background. It just becomes noise to me. Or it's like I would have if, if you just had like two of these guys have a, another person of Nicolas Cage just had a personality. Maybe they <clears> had <throat> the main actor, so they had a good back and forth. Then it would be worth it. But when you don't have anyone who has any sense of a personality, I'm just bored by. It. I don't care about anyone. Well, that's the thing because I I even like fights beyond this, but it got to a point. Maybe it was halfway. Or maybe it was when, by the time Nicolas Cage comes in, because it's 40 minutes before we see yes. him. Um, yeah. <laughs> but there was that point where I was like, man, I'm digging these fights. And, and uh, however, I don't really know these people. And it does seem like it's not mattering so much. And there's certain fights that happen, you know, between them and Brax or with soldiers, but especially with the, between some of these people and Brax, where, okay, you guys are fighting Brax. You haven't been showcased yeah. up to this point. I don't recognize you. I know nothing about you. You yeah. are going to die. Yeah. yeah. Well, it, you know, it's that's a foregone conclusion. I do have a little bit of nostalgia for something like this. I used to rent movies like this in the 80s when video stores were popping up, you know, back with VHS cassettes. I used to rent these kind of movies all the time. And what kind of movies am I talking about? Well, I'm talking about movies where they used to make these films all the time where they were just kind of ripoffs of bigger special effects movies, science fiction films and horror films. And they wouldn't hide it, you know, they, they, but they knew they didn't have the budget and all they wanted to do was just play around and kind of pay homage to a, a movie that they loved and they just wanted to play around with the special effects that they could afford. And being that this is light on on uh, CG, you know, even if you do have a bad looking dude in a 
rubber suit. I was like, you know what? The, this is taking me back to when you, you had those movies. Mm -hmm. Like just just 80s full of just low budget movies where if you couldn't rent something that was uh that was out or if you were just if you just playing kind of like rent rental roulette and just based on the box and whatnot, you would get a lot of movies like these. I couldn't go all as as far as I wanted to with it because I you're right, it's like the characters here are just there to kick. <laughs> to kick, yeah. That's it. Kick and punch something every now and then and for action scenes. Uh you know, uh your lead here. Uh people who are acting, they're not given too much to do. You know, we're talking about like Frank Grillo being in this. Frank Grillo can act and when he's there, he's pretty cool, but he does he's not given a whole lot to do. Mm -hmm. Just like Nicolas Cage isn't given a whole lot to do. Uh your lead who if he just had more to do and was a better actor and had more charisma, well, I guess she's saying like an actor. <laughs> <Being> an actor <laughs> you know? uh, uh, what's his name? Uh, Alan Moussey. Uh, uh, what is it? Uh, Alanis Moussey? No, I said uh, Alan. Uh, Alain Mous Alain Moussey? I think is his name. Yeah, he's he's from uh, this director's other movies, the Kickboxer series. Mm -hmm. And that's what he's there for, man. He's, I imagine he's a good fighter. I've definitely seen worse people, but there's just not much for him to do there, so it's not even much to judge That's on. That's true. That. It's not even like giving him the opportunity to do more. Give him a lame story like, you know, what they always start out with lame stories. Oh, I, I got amnesia. I can't remember anything. I'm yeah. like, all right. Mm -hmm. So yeah. already he's held back because of that because mm -hmm. then he's just completely a blank slate and he's yeah. mostly that way for the entire movie. Which is also hilarious because he spends the movie with everybody going, Come on, man. I know you remember this. Come on, you remember this. I was like, what about the core concept of amnesia? Is everyone missing? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Damn, when you start beating the shit out of me, that'll <laughs> help them to remember. So, I almost said this too. Somebody said, Alanis Morris said, you know, I, almost, I was almost there. Uh, even Nicolas Cage, man. Nicolas Cage in this, even he's kind of just not being crazy Nicolas Cage that we want. He's more like Dennis Hopper. Mm. From Apocalypse Now. That's where the Apocalypse oh, Now yeah, reference yeah, that yeah. I had. Yeah, uh, yeah, in. you're right about that. But the the thing that made me take it down very much a notch was so there's only really two two personalities in the movie, and that's Nicolas Cage and uh, this guy oh. Eddie Steeples, oh. who mm. plays the translator. And I have nothing against the actor. I've seen this guy in some things, and he's funny, so I'm yeah. not criticizing him. But the moment he came out. He's just there for foolish black comedy relief. Get your ass out here and tell me what this woman's saying. Hey, woman, what you saying? Uh, and, and, and that's the best yeah. that it gets. Yeah, the tip of the iceberg. Oh, uh, yeah. Every p p place where he pops in, that's supposed to be funny. Mm -hmm. And it's nothing but painful. Yep. They are forcing these, <laughs> the, whoever wrote these jokes for him, they are forcing the comedy relief. And it don't help that. Now, they, they got another badass brother in here. And I guess they thought, well, since we got it balanced out, we could just make him uh, step and fetch it his way through this movie all the way through. Because there are moments where he's a straight up coward. He's running. He like, there are moments that he's running like, oh, oh, y'all got this. Oh. I was like, I, look, y'all know I'm, I'm very sensitive to that kind of thing. So I, I was like, no, 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 no. It's funny because as he's running away, there's those flying shurikens going at him and none of them hit him. Yeah. <laughs> Even they felt sorry for him. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, this is just pathetic. They got, they, they got him into the movie. On a re they just let him ad lib the movie out. It yeah. is horrible. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> he gets the last line, doesn't he? Yeah, yeah, yeah he does. It he does. gets the last it's line. It freeze frames on him like, <laughs> like he's about to bite on something. Like, yeah, people. It's yeah, it, it makes it one of those movies that doesn't end, but rather just goes off. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it should have done. It's like, there should have been more here or, or maybe you should have stopped a little earlier, but they just like turn the lights off <laughs> while you're sitting in the theater. Yeah, he's. Uh -huh. the, he, I never watched My Name is Earl, but he was the crab man on My yeah. Name is Earl. They got a Star Wars moment in here that, had, that came out of nowhere. I'm not going to tell you what it is because it's a big twist. I, I but know, it makes no I know, sense. But, but I was just, it, like you, I have that little bit of nostalgia for those those kind of the low budget rip off movies from you know from the 80s and 90s. <laughs> so a little of that buoyed me along. Um, but I got to say, when they got to the the twist at the end. I threw my hands up. I was like, you yeah. got to be kidding me. You gonna do this now? <laughs> and it makes people. You almost need to see it. It makes no goddamn sense. And the way they try to actually, the way they try to make the to, to add visuals to it to make it make sense. It's like don't 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 pull that shit now, no. Because you just making it worse. <laughs> it is one of those, those stories when it starts. You're like, I don't really get what's going on here. And the more they explain it, the more you're like, ah, you know what? You should just shut up. 
Just, just uh, I was better off not knowing than hearing what your explanation of it is. The problem is it doesn't have those exaggerated characters that you, mm. that you would like, that which kind of brings that personality to Dragon Ball. You're just with these flat, generic, boring people, and it's like I, I, I wanted more of Nicolas Cage. You just don't give enough of them. Like I would maybe let the movie skirt by a little bit if we had more characters like him, but there's just there's nothing there. I'd give it a uh, somewhat bullshit. Of course, why don't you? <laughs> <laughs> but I had to hear from you. About yeah, I know. I know. You had to know for sure. Yes. You couldn't just assume. Uh, of course, I could not. What a. Oh, you know the thing is, I I think the way to look at this movie is not as a sci-fi movie, not, not as a comic book movie, not even as a predator movie. You have to look at it as a kung fu movie, where they also use those other elements to just have a reason for the fighting, because it's yeah. it, that that's really all this is about. Uh, but not the worst thing. It's actually, I, I, I said with the trailer what it was going to be, and it is accurate to how I predicted the trailer. <laughs> the only thing I thought was that it might be dull, and I didn't find it dull, mm. just kind of at times like, all right, I don't know why we're doing this. So it's it's a low rental for me. Yeah, same here, man. I mean, just for that little bit of nostalgia that it gave me. And if, like I said, I might even just give it a rental if it didn't have the things that I just, the, 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 the terrible comedy in mm-hmm. there and the so terrible bad. comedy that he ended on I would give this a rental but it, yeah it ended on a real bad note man and uh, I was like wow this is really that movie that mm-hmm. I used to the several movies that I rented when I was like 10 and 11 years old man mm-hmm. but like I said if you don't have that kind of nostalgia like this man doesn't right here I can't speak for you but yeah it's, I'm with you man it's a, it's a, it's a low rental they were a little too ambitious like knowing they had no money <laughs> the, the amount of effects they tried to pull off yeah. and, and each one of them is just bad it's like like you forget how low budget it is until they go like, now watch this. You're like, oh, yeah. why did you do that? Uh, yeah. They remind you constantly. Yeah. And, then, and they do the thing with all the CGI blood. They get on the people. Oh, yeah. Where yeah. Like, they have that after effect where they cut some guy and you see it's like, wait, that doesn't even match up where the no. wound is. And yeah. it's like, <laughs> it's on the sides of the yeah, corner no, of the screen. It, no, it's, you know, it's <laughs> so many of those scenes. You were right. It's like, man, if you ain't got the money, don't even try. You know, there's some yeah. things you can get away with. And some, no, nah, hell no. Somebody should have been there. It's like, no, 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 hell no. <laughs> You got Nicolas Cage. That's good enough. Right. <laughs> that's all the effects we need. <laughs> <laughs> Shit, he should have been alien. 